Hey there riders, Moto Journo Chris here. I'm just here with the Royal Enfield Interceptor 650. This is the new twin that they've brought out. Uh, it's just arrived in 2019 here in Australia and it is a beginner motorcycle here. It's learner legal, 50 horsepower, and even if you're elsewhere in the world, I reckon these are a good value option for the beginner riders, particularly if they want this retro style bike. I reckon it looks pretty cool. Uh, Royal Enfield have done a really good job in massively stepping up from their classic 500. Uh, this thing has way more performance, it's got way better brakes, it's got way better suspension. It's just a much better overall bike. Those bikes are designed for people who want an authentic retro machine, which you know has the performance of a 50 or 60 year old bike, maybe just with EFI on top or perhaps ABS on some of them now. Uh, this thing is a proper, more modern, still retro themed bike, but there's just so much more performance. You've got like 50 horsepower, it's got nice torque, it's a nice thing to ride, it's a good everyday bike after having, you know, I've spent half the day on this machine today. Um, I've been having a great amount of fun on it and I have to say I'm really, really impressed. Uh, overall, what stands out to me, it's got a beautiful engine, it's got really nice manners, it's got a good amount of power, it revs nice and quickly, so you wouldn't be complaining about the amount of power this thing offers as long as you're going in, keeping in mind 50 horsepower, which, you know, I think that's 40 to 50, I think is enough for an everyday ride and to have plenty of fun on. And then obviously, uh, you can get much higher than that on the sports bikes and naked bikes and things like that. But I think 40 to 50 is the great place for an everyday machine. And that's the point where you can have plenty of fun as an experienced rider. And also as a beginner rider, you've got plenty of performance to grow into. So that's a huge aspect of it as well. You're not gonna feel the need to upgrade this bike instantly if you are a beginner rider and you have it for a couple of years. And particularly if you like the styling of it, you might just hold on to it in the long term. It'll be interesting to see how these last in the long term because obviously uh, they're a bit untested because they are a new model from Royal Enfield. Royal Enfield did bring on board a whole heap of people previously at Triumph to develop this bike. So there's a lot of engineering know-how and a lot of expertise going into this particular machine to make it an awesome machine. And uh, I mean, it's had a very positive reception, which is always a good sign. And I have to say, I think the same thing. My, my first thoughts are it's a nice thing to ride. It's comfortable, it's relaxed, it's well-mannered. It's just a really pleasant motorcycle. And it very much fits into that theme, that retro theme, but with good performance, you know, a little bit aggressive, a little bit edgy. And um, yeah, I'm just, I'm, I'm quite impressed. Uh, I guess the things to keep in mind, it's got quite sporty suspension on it. I was finding it a little bit rough on our really terrible Australian roads today. So that is something that you will have to keep in mind with these bikes. Um, also, there's a couple of things which do stand out as a little bit cheaper, like the indicators. Those are really quite cheap. They're that old retro style indicator. So, I mean, it is in keeping, but at the same time, a uh, very cheap component there. Um, I thought the front end, very well sorted, good brakes actually for a single disc setup on the front, nice amount of power just right for this bike. Um, I could have quite a bit of fun through the twisties, unfortunately it's a bit hard at the moment, we've got double demerits which means the police are everywhere and uh, you do need to take it a little bit easier at the moment. But with that said, I still had good fun when I got a nice bit of open road. I did quite a few Ks today. I was really impressed the bike didn't overheat at all. It ran very, very nicely. Um, once it was obviously run for quite a long period, uh, performance didn't change at all, but it did just, uh, the, the note from the exhaust changed a little bit. This has got a bit more of a note than the standard one because uh, the owner has opened up the exhaust. And this is Jeff from bikereview.com.au's own bike. He bought this after going to the world launch and he was that impressed with the bike. And I'm gonna be doing full reviews of the bike, much more in-depth reviews of the bike over at bikereview.com.au, so don't forget to check that out. But for now, I'm just having a really simple chat about my first impressions of this bike. And like I said, I'm impressed. I think Royal Enfield have really taken it to the new level. Um, this is what everyone was asking for, who was looking at the classic 500 and thinking, just not enough performance and not enough bike. Uh, the price, if anything, the price on this is super competitive compared to the Classic 500. Because the Classic 500 is a little bit on the pricey side if you ask me. Um, whereas this is insane value. And you're getting a lot of bike. And um, it's very in keeping as well with that kind of retro theme. With that cool flat seat. Uh, the round mirrors, you know, 
they they suit the styling even if I'm not a huge fan of round mirrors and uh, single headlight of course I haven't actually had a chance to check what that's like at night but you know I'm sure I'll get an opportunity soon uh, cool exhaust uh, nice chroming the quality of the chroming in a couple of places is a tiny bit patchy but I have to say for the price well within kind of my expectations and uh, it just looks like a really nice machine and far more than I, I kind of expected when I first heard about them. Uh, then of course the, the initial reaction from everyone I know was really, really positive who'd seen them and read, ridden them and stuff like that. Um, so I was expecting a really great motorcycle and it's really just great to um, basically see the motorcycle in the flesh and uh, come to the same conclusion. But I will be doing a full review at bikereview.com.au, so stay tuned for that. And I'll also be doing a quick comparison of the W800 Cafe against this particular machine, because I think it's an interesting kind of comparison, even though they don't compete with each other really at all. Have a good one, stay safe out there, don't forget to sub, and I'll be back soon.